Hi, I'm Damien Faux, R&D Director at Actronica, and today I will present you our new technology, Multicontact Optics. In our day-to-day -day life, we are interacting a lot with machines through various interfaces, which are mostly relying on our vision or hearing to provide us sensory feedback. Touch is often put aside, while it is the sense we are trusting the most. As you may know, through haptics interfaces, based on the science of touch, we can now address this growing need of tactile feedback in human-machine interfaces. To bring back the sense of touch in these interfaces, we are generating vibration, propagating through the touch surface to produce tactile illusion for specific interaction, such as a button clicks, for instance. To do so, one or several haptic actuators are integrated to move the contact surface and transmit the vibration to the user's skin. However, with this approach, the whole surface motion is grossly driven by the same vibration. Thus, you cannot experience multiple differentiable tactile sensations simultaneously across the interface. Until now. Imagine interacting on the shared touch screen, such as a control panel, inside your car, and only experience the tactile feedback associated with your interaction, without any spurious interference due to another user's action. To allow this, our team is developing the so called multi contact tactics. With this technology, we offer the possibility to generate different haptic feedback simultaneously on multiple contact areas of a given surface. Such a vibration control relies on the use of what is called the dynamic behavior of the system. As you can see, every system possesses specific deformation modes occurring at specific frequencies of stimulation. Thus, by combining them, we can produce different vibration profiles on given location of a surface simultaneously. To do so, several actuators attached to the surface are driven independently, and the calibration is performed to identify their contribution to this dynamic behavior. Then, from the touch position, we can compute the appropriate driving signals for each actuator to generate the targeted peak effects on each of the contact points. Shared screen or control panels virtual keyboard or gamepads. These are just a few examples of the possible applications we can foresee. Any user interface implying simultaneous interaction could benefit from such localized haptic feedback.